Fermat's last theorem um, is an epic story, uh, starting with this French mathematician Pierre de Fermat and ending with a British mathematician Andrew Wiles. Um, I think it was one of the, the, the one of history's great mathematical problems. Um, it's certainly the most notorious one because um, when it was born 350 years ago, uh, Pierre de Fermat, who, who found the problem, um, said he could solve it. Uh, he defined a particular equation and he said this equation has no solutions. But he just didn't tell us what that proof was. He didn't tell us what his logical argument was. And so after his death, um, mathematicians wanted to rediscover Fermat's proof. A 10-year-old boy called Andrew Wiles who read about the problem in his school library said, I'm going to solve this problem. And he uh, worked on it as a, as a teenager. He worked on it as a, as a college student. He worked on it while he was doing his PhD. And eventually, after 30 years of dreaming about this problem, he solved it. It's a story about um, childhood dreams. It's about obsession. It's about why mathematicians are bothered about these types of questions.